In part one of our visit to Truckee, California, Sarah and I checked out most of the historical buildings in town. Now we'll visit the Sierra Mountain Cemetery, which contains the remains of those who played a vital role in Truckee's history. So we've made our way to the Truckee Cemetery and we're going to try to find some of these historical figures from Truckee's past. This is the Truckee Cemetery, also known as the Sierra Mountain Cemetery, which dates back to 1869 when the Oddfellows and the Masonic Lodges buried their dead here in what is now conjoined cemeteries. Right to the left of the gate here is where you'll find Charles Fayette McGlashan, who left from 1847 to 1931. He was an American writer, historian, a journalist. He was an educator here in Truckee. He was also a lawyer. He was an amateur entomologist and an astronomer. McGlashan Point overlooking Daughter Lake is named after him. McGlashan was born in Wisconsin, but his family moved to Placerville in 1854 and he settled in Truckee, where he became principal of the schools. He went to school to become a lawyer and he became editor and owner of the newspaper, The Truckee Republican. He was elected to the State Assembly in 1885 for his leadership in anti-Chinese actions. With his daughter Zamina McGlashan, he began a butterfly farm in a magazine called The Butterfly Farmer around 1913. McGlashan is probably best known for writing the history of the Donner Party in 1879. I understand that he had interviewed many of the survivors of the Donner Party and he collected artifacts that he kept in that tower above the Balancing Rock Formation. McGlashan was really fascinated with the whole Donner Party story, as is a lot of people today. He was able to interview a lot of the 40 or so people out of the 80 who didn't starve to death here in the mountains. William McDougall was the constable here in Truckee from 1902 to 1906. As I explained in my first video on Truckee, he helped the Secret Service to keep an eye on the people when President Theodore Roosevelt dropped by town at the train station on May 19, 1903, he was a well-respected and physically large man. He had been the barkeeper when he was elected to constable. He also served as the town's undertaker, no doubt having buried many of the people here. Curiously, he was on vacation in Hawaii on February 6, 1906, when he died at age 50 of appendicitis. His tombstone reads, Precious one from me has gone. A voice I loved is stilled. A place is vacant in my home which never can be filled. FOE on the marker indicates membership in the Fraternal Order of Eagles. It said that Constable McDougall was infuriated when, in 1903, one of the people who was jailed for forgery broke the iron bars on the window and escaped from jail. McDougall is the one who persuaded the Board of Supervisors to invest in a more solid jail. So an eight foot by eight foot cage made of angle iron was built inside the stone walls in 1904. Well, this, this name seems like it's kind of famous somehow. <laughs> it is. I was busy tracking down the graves of noteworthy historical figures from Truckee's past when I looked up and found Sarah doing her own sleuthing. She had her smartphone out and was checking on a familiar-sounding name of Greeley on a headstone. It was familiar to her because we had told the story of Horace Greeley in our videos on Placerville and Carson City. However, Horace Greeley, who was defeated by Ulysses S. Grant for the presidency in 1872, is buried in New York City. It's a good thing that he lost because he died 24 days after the election. Next, I want to find the grave of Teeter, Jacob Teeter, the constable who was shot to death. I saw Teeter's grave as we pulled in here and I believe it's right here. Here's the final resting place for Constable Jacob Teeter, or Jake as he was known to many. It was a gun battle that placed him here after a long-standing feud with Deputy James Reed. Teeter had been drinking in Heard Saloon on November 7, 1891, maybe too much to drink, when in walked Reed and friends. Before the gunfight, Reed's reputation had swelled after he was attacked by a man with a knife who came at him. Being unarmed, Reed grabbed a large rock and bashed his assailant in the head, killing him instantly. From the bar, Teeter rambled loud enough to say, I ain't no son of a b and never beat a man's brains out with a rock. So Reed spun around and said, 
Are you talking to me? Teeter turned around slowly from the bar with a cold stare and replied, You can take it if you want to. Reed rose from his chair and said, See here, Jake, I don't want any trouble with you, but you've been harassing me long enough. I don't want to hear any more of it, and you've got to quit. Reed approached Teeter, and the two began arguing, with words growing more heated until Teeter drew his revolver. Reed wrestled it from Teeter. I don't intend to be killed, shouted Reed. Teeter was humiliated and stopped out of the saloon for his house, where he fetched another gun. Reed went out the back door to his residence on Jaboom Street, where he strapped on his holster and a six-shooter, just in case Teeter returned. About 15 minutes later, Teeter did return. Within minutes, Reed and his friends began to exit the saloon. But Teeter leveled his pistol and fired three shots, all which missed Reed. Reed returned the fire, hitting Teeter four times. He was carried home, where he died the next morning. Two uh, friendly caretakers here pointed me to the grave of William Hurd. He was the saloon keeper. He owned the saloon where that famous fight broke out between Constable Teeter and Deputy Reed. William Hurd lived from 1830 to 1910. Said he also owned a saloon in Meadow Lake in Nevada County. His wife Hannah followed him here in 1922. This grave of little Enos Esola, who was about two years old at death, has a marker with a hand broken off the arm of that little angel. This is really one of the nicest mountain cemeteries I've seen. A lot of them are just dirt and not well taken care of. This one is very nice. So if you're ever in Truckee and want to learn a little about the history, I think this would be a cool place to start. Right over there is William McDougall's grave plot, but two caretakers pointed out to me that the grave of the infamous deputy James Reed is right over here in an unmarked grave. The fact that he has no marker tells you how the town felt about him. The caretakers were unable to pinpoint the exact spot, but it's generally within range of this camera. So Reed kind of exiled himself in the community and kind of went away from everybody. And it was actually told to me that he lived kind of as a recluse down by the river until he died in 1905, which was, what, uh, 14 years after he killed Constable Teeter. There's a fascinating story about the people who are buried at the base of this very tall tree here. I was told that the person buried in this grave was the first judge here in Truckee, but I've not verified it. It's Anderson M. Walker, who was born in 1830, looks like Kentucky, and died in 1882. His grave is really close to this area where the prostitutes are allegedly buried. The red light district was located right behind the saloons. In fact, the back doors to Front Street saloons paired nicely to Jaboom Street allowing transactions privately to take place between the ladies and their customers. What kind of makes it unusual that these women are buried here is typically prostitutes were buried outside of their town. They were considered less than individuals for the trade that they plied. However, I was told that Truckee considered them as their own valued citizens. I was told that this could be the headstone of a prostitute. It's that of Nevada County Kurtz and her brother, nobody really knows her story. So I think that's gonna conclude this episode of History Hunters on Truckee, California. I wanna thank you for tagging along with us. We enjoyed our visit here today. Sorry for the wind, it was very windy. Some of the audio may be kind of messed up because of it, but we wanna thank you so much for subscribing to History Hunters and also giving us a like and a comment. Tell us what you liked. Also, give us a thumbs up. We thank you so much for checking us out.